Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. So today was what I would refer to as kind of like a soul testing or a will testing workout for me. This was um, leg day, obviously, doing some squats, um, but it was my first workout in like two days because uh, one day I decided that, um, well, Jenny wanted to go see a movie and I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, we, we've been working hard. Let's go check out a movie. So I decided to do a little bit of an at-home workout, which is fun. It's just fine. You know, did some... Did some push-ups, did some curls, did some shoulder press, did some crunches, and, you know, just body weight, leg stuff, just to get warm for my leg day. But then the next day, ended up waking up late, I wanted to get some videos done, wanted to get some editing done, and wanted to put in a nice stream for you guys, because, you know, I, I, I love you very, very much, and I definitely want to get out good t content for you guys. But, ended up streaming until about 9.30, so then it was a little bit too late to go to the gym, which was completely my fault, but it happened, so... That's two days off for me, and as you guys know, I, I do not like to take days off. Uh, one, because I really enjoy going to the gym. Number two, because when you get back to the gym after those days off, it is a rough workout. At least in my case, it is. So, I decided to do leg day on my first day back. You know, it was a it was a decision of necessity, but it you know puts me in a rough spot. So because I'm feeling pretty crappy after my days off, but I am really really glad that I decided to gut it out and do this leg workout. And uh, one of the things I'd like to talk to you guys about is, you know, in a situation like this, where you're not feeling your best, of course you do want to get to the gym, of course you do want to work hard, and one of the things that, that was something that I kept in mind today, and one of the things that you guys might want to keep in mind, you know, it, it, it could be lame, but bear with me here, because, you know, I like to share this kind of stuff with you. So, one of the things that I was keeping in my mind is that even though I was feeling my absolute worst, it was these moments in which we become who we want to be. And I was actually repeating that phrase to myself. Maybe it's because I've been playing Skyrim right before we left. <laughs> I don't know. But I was like, this is this is the time. This is the time where you become who you want to be, where you become yourself. Where you where you put yourself to the test and make progress. And I, I like that. I think that was a good thought because a lot of the times, I mean, you guys are watching my gaming channel. You guys are watching the channel. This is a I post a lot of video games. You guys probably maybe even found this channel from gaming, probably. I don't know if anybody actually finds this channel for the fitness videos, but regardless, a lot of us play video games, and one of the things that happens in video games is that you, you, you try your best to improve your character. You go on epic quests that bring you, you know, new things once you accomplish them. You, you know, if you beat a boss, or if you, you know, get through a really difficult level on your character, then you make progress and you get rewards. And I think the same thing definitely 100% applies to you in your lifting career. I mean, on these days like this where I'm feeling my worst, I think it's a real-life situation and where you can test yourself. And the gym does provide a pretty safe environment to challenge what you think you're capable of doing and push past the situations where you're not feeling your best and still make progress. Oh yeah, I just wanted to let you guys hear this sound clip. This is my last set of squats. Listen to what I say. Pretty proud of myself. Easiest set of my life. So yeah, as you guys could tell, I, I was pretty pumped. Even though I wasn't feeling my best physically, I did recognize that situation as a time where I could test myself. This was an opportunity to overcome adversity for myself. And honestly, I have an amazing life where I don't have to overcome like daily struggles. I don't have to worry about a whole lot of stuff. A lot of what I do is under my control and it's things that I enjoy. And I am tremendously grateful for that every day of my life. That's one of the reasons I think the gym is so cool and so important to me, is because I can use it as a situation to practice summoning my courage and asserting my will on my situation and overcoming whatever sort of adversity I'm faced with. Whether it's trying to lift a certain amount of weight or, you know, get one or two last reps in or just like today, I knew the whole workout was going to suck, but I hung in there and I got what I needed to do done and I feel good about that. So to get back to what I was saying, in our video games, you know, we, we go through these epic quests, defeat powerful enemies, and overall just do a whole bunch of badass stuff. And all of that is essentially designed to help our character progress. I know I've talked about this sort of idea before, but it's an idea that really stuck with me today during this workout, is that, for me at least, the gym and training provides me with an opportunity to improve myself, to make every set or every rep even its own little mini quest all designed to help me become the best version of myself that I can be. So I wanted to share that thought with you guys today because it's something that definitely got me through my workout. 
I mean, I've mentioned before, like, you know, when I'm thinking about a, a tough set, I'll think about, you know, a situation like in Dragon Ball Z with, like, a bench press, right? You're locked in a, a gigantic energy blast battle, and you have to push the other energy off of you in order to destroy your opponent. Just stuff like that. It keeps things fun for me. I, I feel like I definitely have still that childlike creativity and enjoyment of that sort of stuff, so... The gym gives me a fun chance to act out those little adventurous thoughts with a thirst for the epic like you have when you're a kid. Hopefully you guys can keep that going, because I try to at least in the videos and stuff. But sometimes the motivation needs to be a little bit more dire, so like things on like squats or deadlifts, like I'm usually trying to like squat burning logs off of my family or something. Like imagine the house is burning down and you have to save them by one by one squatting like burning logs off of them or you know ripping a car off of your family when you're deadlifting shit like i don't know man whatever it takes to get that that real life adrenaline going like you have to put yourself in that mindset and like this is some this is some real shit with bajira here but i guess we're talking a lot about motivation and motivation for me takes different forms but all of it is usually designed to make whatever i'm doing so intensely important that I have no choice but to rise to the occasion or have something terrible happen. And I literally put myself in that mindset so much so that usually when I'm done doing my squats or my deadlifts, I am like physically and emotionally exhausted. So honestly, like the past two times I've done deadlifts, I have been completely fried and have been pretty much useless for the rest of my workout. So I'll usually end up doing deadlifts with some secondary exercises and then just coming back to do back day the next day. Because like, I don't know, you get, you get all that adrenaline, you get all that emotion flowing, you were exhausted at the end. But plus, I do like 16 sets of deadlifts, so there's that too. <laughs> but today wasn't exactly so dire, it was more like I kept repeating the phrases to myself, like, this is the time you become your true self. And it's, I, I don't know, I, this might sound corny to you guys, but I mean, this is stuff that, this is stuff that, that got me pumped up today, man. This is the time, this is the time where you become who you want to be. This is the time that you show who you are to yourself. You know, it's, it wasn't about anybody else, it wasn't about saving anybody today, it wasn't about, like, winning a show later on in the future, which are things that do motivate me at times. But today, it was just about becoming the best version of myself that I could be, and I like that. And the different things will affect you in different ways at different times, and that's okay. Definitely encourage you to be open, to let those thoughts flow through and into you. For me, training is a very meditative thing. I get very, very focused and very, very intense onto what I'm doing. And this is one of the reasons I enjoy the gym so much, because it allows me to harness and to channel all the intensity that is sort of inherently inside me, and probably inside of you too, and use that to do something productive. Use that to build up my body. There's all this emotional and mental energy inside of everybody, and the way you make use of and take care of that energy is pretty important. And one of the ways, historically, that I've sort of taken care of my own mental and emotional health is channeling all that intensity into positive and productive activity through my training. Whether it's been training for distance running as I used to do, whether it's been training for basketball, which I used to do even before that, or now into bodybuilding, which I'm doing now. The process of channeling intensity and releasing intensity in a positive way has definitely shaped who I am today. So even if you guys are like, you know what, I'm not really into the gym, I don't really feel like lifting weights, I'm not, that's not my thing. Number one, that's absolutely fine. Like I said in a pretty important vlog a long time ago, you have to find what you're passionate about and allow yourself to put your effort, your best effort, into that. Explore that. Allow it to shape you in ways that you want to be shaped. Now, the second part of that is, even if you're not all that into weight training for the purposes of getting bigger or stronger, I encourage you to get into a little bit of physical activity just because it's going to help express and channel some of that intensity inherent in all of us into a healthy and positive thing. Plus, you never know, you just might like it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was the end of my leg workout for today. Pre exhausted on the leg press, did some squats, did more leg press, then hit up the isolation exercises, you know the drill. Thank you so much for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Keep up the great work with the thumbs up, leave me comments, you guys know I love that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!